you to today is November 25th, 2000 of the 17th. Um, right now in my backyard, again, I'm sorry for the background noise. Um, it's early as hell in the morning, as you can tell. I haven't put any gel or anything. I just wanted to get right into it. Uh, I am getting the final touch for my car for a while. Um, I just finished getting a rear motor mount, which is one of the first things that I should have gotten, but I didn't really find the need for it. And everyone's been telling me to get it. And since yesterday was Black Friday, uh, I ended up getting it. Not through Cobb, but I ended up getting it through a friend that was selling it for super cheap. So shout out to Daniel. Thank you, bro. Um, yeah, let's uh, let's see how this install goes. Lego. Okay, so first we need to take off the downpipe bracket. Once we take that off, we can take off this connection. That I think this is just an extension for the rear motor mount. And then we'll be able to take this off and then take off the rear motor mount. So there's two screws up here that we're going to take off. There's two screws here, so I'm going to take these out. And there's a screw back here to take off this bracket. Alright guys, really quick just so you guys can see the difference. I actually noticed but I'm so happy that I'm changing this out because if you guys notice, <laughs> the stock one is actually cracked. I guess from all the pulls or whatever I've been doing, it's actually cracked it. That's pretty crazy. There's a screw in the back bracket that I think is literally a pain to take off in that bracket there. So pretty much just all the steps that I did, just do it backwards. She keeps showing you guys. And we're gonna put this in first and then we'll put the bracket and everything else. But since I went to go get the rear motor mount, but since I went to go get the rear motor mount, I decided to show you guys, which my dad has a valid point. This thing should be under warranty, but I don't know if they'll give me the warranty for all the stuff that I've done to the car. It'll probably be like, oh, the reason that this is this is because you done so many things to the car but yep all right let's go back under the car okay so we just put the rear motor mount back in we're gonna push it all the way back we're gonna get this bracket and we're going to put the screw that goes here Okay, 
so we're gonna put everything back into place and all we're gonna do is put the screws loosely where they go remember that you don't want to tighten everything 100% and you don't want to put the rear motor mount because then you won't be able to tighten the screw here The rear motor mount for my car. So now we're going to put this in place. We are going to grab the screw that holds the motor mount. supposed to screw this all the way in just enough where it catches I'm going to put the screw try to align the screw okay first thing you're gonna do is put this in slide it in all the way and now we are going to use the bit for it, which is a 3 8 Torx bit. Other way. This screw, we're just gonna rock the motor forward. And push it forward. Change tips. And tighten the seat. Tighten. The other tighten. this bracket on we're gonna put this one the one that holds the downpipe 